Hello, dear student. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Learning and Sharing. Today, we will discuss about the volcanism. Actually, volcanism is a process by which the volcanoes are produced. So in this video tutorial, we will learn about the volcanoes, that how volcanoes are produced or formed, what sort, of, what sort of types we have volcanoes, what sort of substance are being coming, are being reaching at the surface of earth from beneath the earth and where these volcanoes are being located means in the world, what is the global distribution of volcano? So let's start today's tutorial. Now, what does mean by the volcanoes? A volcano is generally a conical shaped hill or mountain built by accumulation of lava, tephra or volcanic ash. So it means this is a particular type or mountain shaped or conical shaped structure which is being formed due to the substance which is coming beneath the surface and reach the, sur reach the surface of it, which has been coming, coming beneath the beneath the earth and been reaching at the surface of earth. So this a special structure which is called a mountain. This is a special structure when the earth is inside, the lava or the things that are below the earth are coming up and become a conical-shaped mountain. So we call it volcanoes. About 95% of ash that is formed in the earth is formed in the earth. About 95% of active volcanoes occur at the plate subduction zones in the mid oceanic range to duniya mein 95 feesad jo wo active volcanoes hain there are different states of volcanoes active and sub active non active volcanoes so jo active volcanoes which are been still been regularly been erupting so they are being formed at subduction and mid oceanic ridges ye main aapko aage ja ke batata hu ki ye kis tarah hai now we'll see the global distribution where we can form the found the volcanoes. So the volcanoes occurred at 80 at any location where Earth's crust is broken along the magma within the Earth to escape. So it means that they are being occurring everywhere on every part of the Earth, but the condition that particularly that part of Earth where the plates plates are being either being colliding or being meeting or being all being colliding with each other so means this is this is uh, the place where where the plates are being meeting so volcanoes kahin pe bhi ho sakte hain magar khas karke jahan jahan plates milte so where there is the corners of plates are being meeting that place particularly been for the eruption of the magma, the lava. So because of that, volcanoes are being formed. So if you remember the theory of plate tectonics, that our Zameen jo hai, usme plates lagi hui hai. So wo plates, they are always been moving. Sometimes they are colliding each other. Sometimes they are been departing or separating from each other. And sometimes they are being uh, subducting, sub, I mean, each, each other. कभी एक दूसरे को बेचार जाती हैं, कभी वो एक दूसरे टकराती हैं और कभी एक दूसरे से हट जाती हैं। तो जहाँ-जहाँ प्लेट्स के कॉर्नर्स हैं, जहाँ-जहाँ वो प्लेट्स मिलती हैं, वो जगह खास करके दुनिया में वहाँ पे वॉल्केनोस पाए जाते हैं। So most of them is found along a belt called the Pacific Ring of Fire. They encircle the Pacific Ocean. Some volcanoes, like those that form the Hawaiian Islands, occur in the interior of plates are called the hot spots. So you can see here. So this is called the Pacific Ring of Fire. A ring, a ring, kism ki hai. You can see the different continents in North America, South America, Asia, and Australia. So the uh, uh, the volcanoes are being occur along the corners of these plates. और पार्टिकुलरली जो पैसिफिक ओशियन है जहाँ पे है तो दुनिया में सबसे ज़्यादा जो वॉल्केनोज़ हैं वो इस जगह पे पाए जाते हैं सो पैसिफिक रिंग ऑफ़ फायर क्योंकि ये हॉट स्पॉट है ये वीकेंड ज़ोन है क्योंकि यहाँ पे प्लेट्स आके एक दूसरे से मिलती हैं यू कैन आल्सो सी है दिस इज़ 
active volcanoes are being found here. So over the last two million years, volcanoes have been depositing lava, tephra, and ash in particular areas of the globe. So these area occur at hotspot, rift zones, and along the plate boundaries where tectonic subduction is taking place. So actually, these places are, uh, you can say, hot spots or the rift zones are the weakest spot of the Earth. So along these, uh, you know, areas, mostly our uh, volcanoes are being occurring. So they, when, uh, when the volcanoes are being erupting, they leave the, you know, the substance like lava, tephra, and ash, something like this. Uh, now we'll talk about the types of volcanoes. Not all volcanoes are same. Geologists have classified five different types of volcanoes. This classification are based on the geomorphic form, magma chemistry, and the explosiveness of the eruption. So when we talk about the types of volcanoes, it has been said that not all volcanoes are the same, but they are different from each other. So the, the classification, classification of volcanoes has been uh, determined on the basis of their form, structure, and the type of magma or the substance which are being leaving or being coming inside and the explosiveness. So the least explosive type of volcanoes is called the basalt plateau. And if you remember in, in, in a physical geography, we have a plateau. Plateau is a table lane, a table type of table lane structure where there's a reduced height, which structure is a reduced uh, height. If you compare the plateau with the mountains, mountains are more, have a more uh, height. So, subse jo kam explosive volcano usko hum basalt volcano kehte uh, hain. So the form of these volcanoes is flat, gently sloping, and they can occupy an area of one lake to ten like square kilometer. <clears throat> now we'll talk about the major types of the volcano. So number one is the cinder cone volcano. So you can see the image of it. The cinder cone is a small volcano between 100 to 400 meter tall, made of exploded rock blasted out of central wind at high velocity. So this type of uh, volcano having, having, a, having a height of 100 to 400 meter, and they are being explosive, but when you talk about the size, they are small. So these are volcanoes, they are small size, and their height is 100 to 400 meters. These volcanoes develop from magma of basaltic to inter intermediate composite in desta. They form when large amount of gas accumulate within the rising magma. These are when magma is a gas So example of Cinder cone include the Little Lake Volcano in the California and Pelton Volcano in Mexico. So, the uh, Lake Volcano in California mein, and Pelton Volcano in Mexico, mein, they can be a perfect example of cinder cone. So, here you can see they don't have a, uh, you know, I say, you know, uh, they don't have a big height, and they are small in terms of size and also in length. Number second is the composite volcano. The composite volcanoes are made from alternate layer of lava flows and exploded rocks. They are being alternately being made by the layer which are being uh, layers of lava which is being regularly exploding. Their height range from 100 to 3500 meter tall. So in ki jo height hai wo sao se 3500 meter tak hai. Means 3500 meter tall. The chemistry of magma of these volcanoes is quite variable ranging from basalt to granite. Ab isme jo substance galta hai, the magma which is being coming uh, from beneath, surf, beneath earth and to the surface, they are sometimes been basalting and sometimes they granite hai. So magma that are more uh, granitic tend to be a very explosive because of their relatively, relatively high water content. Achha, wo magma, uh, granite hota hai, wo explosive hota hai. 
because uh, they relatively contain higher water contents. So water at high temperature and pressure is extremely volatile. Example of composite volcanoes include Italy's Vesuvius, Vesuvius and Japan's Mount Fuji. So jo Italy may Vesuvius or Japan may jo Mount Fuji volcano hai, they are being called the composite volcano. At the same time, we have a volcanoes in Washington state's Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens. So these volcanoes are being called the composite volcanoes. So you have to keep in mind that these composite type of volcanoes have 100 to 3,500 meter height. Now comes the caldera. Caldera uh, volcanoes, they are the most explosive type of volcanoes. The catalyzum, uh, catalyzum um, explosion of these volcanoes leaves a huge circular depression at Earth's surface. So you can see here, they leave a huge depression, a bowl-shaped structure. Yani ke wo jo zameen beech mein itni niche gir jati hai ke ek gada ban jata hai, ek khadda ban jata hai. So this is this type of volcano is called the caldera. This depression, uh, this is a depression. This depression usually lays than 40 kilometer in diameter. So if you, you know, measure this, it is less than 40 times. These volcanoes form when we wet granitic, granitic magma quickly rises to the surface of earth. Ye tab bante hain jo wet magma hoti hai, grand magma, wo jaldi zameen ke upar pohunch jasi hai. So when it gets to within a few kilometers of the surface, the top of magma pools to form a dome. So, jab wo magma jaldi mein zameen ke upar pohun jati hai aur phir wo jaldi mein cool hoti jati hai. So, beneath this dome, the gaseous water in the magma creates extreme pressure because of expansion. So, wo jab cool solidify ho jati hai, yani cool hoti jati hai, thandi hoti jati hai, to wo jaldi jaldi mein wo jo wo jo pani hai, wo chhod deti hai. So that magma creates extreme pressure because of expansion. So when the expansion happens, when it starts to grow, when So when the pressure becomes too great, the dome and magma are sent into the Earth's atmosphere in a tremendous explosion. Okay, that explosion happens, that magma when it rises, it comes so quickly, 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 so this type of volcanoes are called the caldera. Now we'll talk about the uh, glossary of, uh, uh, you know, these some terms which is being used in, uh, in, in this video tutorial. So number one is the lava flow. What, what does it mean by lava flow? A lava flow is a stream of lava flowing from a volcanic vent. What a volcanic vent, a passage, is through जो ची जो स्ट्रीम पहुंचती है जो जमीन के ऊपर उसको हम कहते हैं लावा फ्लो नाउ नंबर सेकंड इज द टेफ्रा अ टेफ्रा इज अ फ्रेगमेंटेड रॉक मटेरियल इजेक्टेड बाय वोल्केनिक वोल्केनिक एक्सप्लोजन एक्चुअली दिस इज द फ्रेगमेंटेड फ्रेगमेंटेड रॉक्स मीन छोटे-छोटे फ्रेगमेंटेड सेपरेटेड या छोटे-छोटे टुकड़े होते हैं रॉक्स के जो जमीन के ऊपर पहुंचते हैं दे आर आल्सो बीइंग कॉल्ड द पैरोक्लास्टिक मटेरियल Subduction, a process of plate tectonics where one lithospheric plate is pushed below another into the asthenosphere. So if you remember, we have a asthenosphere where these all plates are being moving, are being meeting to each other. So when one uh, plate goes up to the other plate, we call it subduction. What is the subduction zone? Kya hota hai? Jahan pe वो एक लाइन बन जाती है जब वो एक दूसरे के ऊपर चढ़ जाती है तो एक एक हिस्सा ऊपर हो जाता है और दूसरा प्लेट का हिस्सा नीचे हो जाता है या दूसरी जमीन का हिस्सा नीचे हो जाता है तो उसको हम सबडक्शन जोन कहते हैं मिड ओशनिक रिजेस इट इज अ चेन ऑफ सम मेरीन माउंटेंस वेयर ओशनिक क्रस्ट इज क्रिएटेड फ्रॉम राइजिंग मैग्मा प्लूम्स एंड वोल्केनिक एक्टिविटी एंड आल्सो एसोसिएट विद द फीचर इज प्लेट डाइवर्जेंस व्हिच क्रिएट अ रिफ्ट जोन्स so if you look at inside in the oceans and the seas, we found the, uh, the different types of volcanoes. 
uh, different types of mountains actually so these mountains are being called mid oceanic ridges actually jo pani ke andar mountains bante hain particular seas or ocean mein usko hum mid oceanic ridges kehte hain aur these are volcano these mountains are being formed because of the magma eruption jo niche se magma erupt hoti hai hot spot a uh, hot spot a volcanic area on the surface of earth created by rising plume of magma acha jahan se magma upar aane ki koshish karti hai to us area ko us spot ko hum kehte hain hot spot means jahan se magma nikalti hai magma plume a rising vertical mass of magma originating from the mantle jab wo mantle se ek magma nikalti hai so it it is like a rising vertical mass ek vertical kism ka mass hota hai to usko hum magma plume kehte hain then we have a asthenosphere a zone in the earth's mantle that exhibit plastic properties located below the lithosphere at between 100 to 200 km actually this zone is being existing at 100 to 200 uh, km beneath this beneath the earth particularly in the mantle zone जो मेंटल जोन है आपको पता है करस्ट मेंटल एयरपोर्ट तो मेंटल में स्थोनोस्फीयर पाया जाता है आफ्टर द लिथोस्फीयर सो पहले लिथोस्फीयर आ जाएगा लिथोस्फीयर इज सॉलिड पार्ट ऑफ अर्थ अर्थ क्रस्ट एंड एस्थोनोस्फीयर इट अ प्लास्टिक टाइप ऑफ यू नो जोन सो जहां पे हमारी प्लेट्स पाई जाती हैं और वो प्लेट्स मूव करती हैं जिससे आप यू कैन सी द डिफरेंट uh you know phenomena has been occurring different sort of even the land forms are been forms so it was all about uh, the volcanism i hope uh, you got the information which was been required to understand the whole process of volcanism